One of the most common questions I get asked is, what is the best way to find a private lender? I mean, how the heck do I find people to give me their money? So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this question that everybody seems to be asking. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how you're never gonna have to use your own money. And you'll be able to find the person to fund your deal. I'm Chris Noggle, and I'm here to teach you how to be your own bank. The first thing you need to be doing is you gotta solve a problem. And you know what? The one great part about this is all people with money have the same darn problem. They all wanna make more of it. So that's what the problem is that you have to solve. You have to show people with money how to make more. And that should be an easy task because you've got the ultimate way to do that. You've got a real estate deal that you need money for. So the second thing is how can you be better than everybody else at solving their problem? Well, it really comes down to how you present the opportunity. See, your deal is the opportunity to solve their problem. So how are you gonna show that deal to the person with money? One common mistake that people make is they, they just bring a deal. I, I remember I've gotten deals before. They literally just had the deal's address on a piece of paper and they said, can I borrow $200,000? Uh, no. Have you ever gone to a bank? Does the bank just give you money without asking you a whole bunch of questions and allow, making it so you have to bring a bunch of information? Absolutely not. So the thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put your deal together in a very simple way so that it answers all the lender's questions. You don't want the lender to have to ask you questions. Every time they ask a question, it's because you failed to give them the answer before they asked for it. So let me go into a, an example on that. When you bring a deal to a lender, let's just say I'm the lender for your deal. I wanna know about the deal. That's not the biggest thing I wanna know. See, I'm not just investing in your deal. The deal is the security. I'm investing in you, so I wanna know about you. I wanna know what's your experience. Why would you be a good steward of the money I'm gonna give you? How do I know I'm gonna get my money back? Because it's not just about the return I'm gonna get, it's about when I'm gonna get my money back, and I wanna know how that money's gonna come back to me. Not only that, I wanna know, do you really need my money? What do I mean by that? Because you're probably thinking, well, of course, I wouldn't ask if I didn't need it, but that's not the way to handle that. I wanna know that you have some of your own money. I want to know that if things get rough, you're going to be able to continue to pay my interest to me for an extended period of time, even longer than what you think the deal is going to take. Because most deals, if you say you're going to finish it in six months, I know it's going to take you 12. Now, if you finish it in six, I'll be impressed. So these are the questions I would want answered as a lender. I want you to tell me how you're going to pay me my interest payments. I want you to tell me how you're going to exit this deal. And if that exit fails, what's plan B and plan C? How am I getting my money back? And I want you to demonstrate and show me in the packet, where is your money? What is your income? What are your assets? They call it a personal financial statement. So I wanna see everything. I even wanna see your tax return. What is your credit score? Because that matters. Because if you got a bad credit score, that means you haven't been so good at paying other people. I don't really care about your credit score at all. I just wanna make sure I'm gonna get paid. Along with all of that, the third thing I'll bring up is building relationships. You gotta connect with people who have a reputation and credibility. So when I say building relationships, so with every lender, you are, you're building a relationship. Think of it like dating. If you're gonna go on a date, you're gonna build a relationship to the person you're going on that date. And sometimes that relationship is built before the first date. The same thing with lending. If I'm gonna lend you money, then I wanna know you and I wanna build a relationship with you because I don't wanna think of this as a one and done. This is not gonna be a one night stand. I wanna lend money to you on this deal and your next deal and your next deal and your next deal because it's a lot easier for me to build a relationship with you and go deeper into that relationship than it is for me to just kinda of have one night stands with a whole bunch of other people that just wanna do one off deals. Does that make sense? The relationship matters, but what else matters is your credibility, your reputation. So here's the thing I will tell you, and this might come as a shock. If you've never done a deal, or maybe this is your first or second deal and you come to me looking for money, I don't wanna lend to you because you don't have enough experience. You haven't built credibility yet. And I'm not trying to put you in a, a negative place or put you in a difficult place, but here's what you could do to combat that. If I won't lend to you because you don't have the history and the experience I'm looking for, what if you went to somebody and you actually partnered with them, somebody that does have that reputation, somebody that has done lots of deals? You might have to give up some of your deal, but now you've got their reputation and credibility. Now I'm willing to lend. Not only that, now I have two people on the line, so I'm double protected. Let me give you an example. There's this one borrower that does a ton of deals through Private Money Club. 
We lend a lot of money on his deals. He's become a crowd favorite among all the members in Private Money Club. They all want to lend on his deals because he's built a reputation. He's never missed a payment. He's always had solid deals. Nobody's ever lost money and nobody's ever had any complaints about him and he's done hundreds of deals. So isn't that the kind of person you'd want to partner with? Well, he does. He partners with other investors because he only has so much time in the day. So he partners with investors that go out and find the deals. They bring the deals to him. He uses his credibility to then get money from us, from myself and a lot of other lenders on Private Money Club. So in doing that, that person that brings him the deal probably gives up a percentage of the deal. But because of that, they get the money to do the deal. So this investor has figured it out. But you know who's benefited? all the other investors he's partnered with. Because as he rises, they rise, right? When the tide goes up, all boats go up. So find somebody to partner with if you're at that point where you just haven't built a reputation, you're just getting started, and you're really looking for that next step. So the fourth thing I would say would be the ultimate. You know, before all this other stuff, wouldn't it just be nice to know where all the lenders are? Well, let's talk about the old way. Right back in the old day, when I wanted money, I would have to go out there and build relationships. I would go to RIAs, I'd go to anywhere I could where people with money went. And I would tell them about my opportunity. Sometimes it was at the bar, just telling them, hey, I got this great deal, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can solve a problem for you. That was hard though. So if I had a deal and I had to close in a week, well, either I'm gonna be going to the bar a lot or waiting for RIAs and hopefully they hit it exactly the right time. It was just difficult. It was the old way of doing things. But let's talk about the new way. You ever see a dating site or use a dating site? It doesn't matter which one, there's two parties. There's a guy and there's a girl. They both have profiles that explain everything that they're looking for, explain what they are, who they are. There's photos to show what they look like. And then they communicate in a little chat room and they go off on a date and live happily ever after or don't. Well, how come there isn't a dating site for money? Wouldn't it be easy if there was a place where all the people with money that wanna make money were, and they had profiles and you can read and you can see photos and you can learn exactly what their problem was that they wanted solved. And then on the other side, there was people that needed money to make money. Maybe that's you. And in the middle, you just come together, you communicate, you follow a process to get your deal funded. But that doesn't exist, does it? It does now. It's called Private Money Club. I've been mentioning it throughout this entire video and now it's real. There's been tens of millions of dollars of deal flow that's run through it. It's called privatemoneyclub.com and it's a dating site for money. Think of Tinder, swipe left, swipe right. Imagine if you're a borrower and you just swipe left through all the lenders and you look, oh, there's one I like and you swipe right and it notifies the borrower and you guys start talking and then you need, need another one, swipe left, swipe right. Exactly what it is. We've solved the problem for you. We've brought the private lenders to one place where you then can apply all these other rules. So let's just do a quick recap to what those rules were for private lending. So rule number one was always start with solving a problem. And remember that was easy because people with money have the same problem. They wanna make more. Number two, how can you be better at solving the problem than everybody else? That was where I talked to you about putting your deal together, answering all the questions without them having to ask them. Number three, building relationships, connecting with people that have your reputation and credibility if it's not yourself. And number four, I talked about how nice it would be if all the lenders were just in one place and I talked about the old way. And finally, number five was the new way, privatemoneyclub.com, check it out. Hey, if you liked this video, make sure you check that one out to learn how I lost $534,000 using the infinite banking concept. If you believe that one, I'll give you another. Check the video out, we'll see you next time.